Los Angeles. Um, well, um, hmm, um, Facebook, uh, type in Punk Bunny, or go yeah. to, uh, punkbunny.com. Yeah, that's right, and you can find them, you can also find them on YouTube, and this is not for children, so if you're under a certain age, do not watch these videos, I love them, <laughs> I, I, I saw this man, actually I met this man online, God, that sounds horrible, uh, not a Craigslist, uh, <laughs> you know what's wrong? Uh, well, I've never hooked up on Craigslist, <clears throat> um, but, uh, uh, well, I do have so uh, songs about, uh, hooking up, but, uh, not on Craigslist. Mm. You have the Glory Hole song, too, right? You know, that's, from, that's from experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's from actual experience. I'm just trying to get folks prepared. That kind of No. No, I was uh, about the Glory Hole song. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I totally forgot about that one. Uh, we first met on the internet, and, uh, and then he found that he was coming up to Oakland to play. We were, this is the station that they have in Francisco, but he was coming over to Oakland to the Star Club, great classic club. And I finally got to meet him, and I accepted me and one of the members of the Clarences, Leslie. It was me. It was one of the most pure rock and roll shows I ever saw. And I don't mean rock and roll as in music. It's just what rock and roll should be raunchy, uh, cutting edge. And it was, I, mean, I still love that show. That was still one of the greatest shows I ever saw. And you are absolutely one of my all-time favorite performers. So it's, I'm really glad you're here on the show. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> um, yeah, that was fun. Uh, uh, in Oakland, right? Yeah. That was um, Yeah. What's going on with Punk Funny? I haven't heard much from you lately, and that kind of concerns me. What's going on with you? Um. Well, I'm. I've been. Uh, I've been busy recording. Um. Uh, so I. I just put an EP out. Uh, oh. Uh. That's um available on my website. Um. Yeah. A, anyhow. Um. So I've been. What's it called? Lovely. Oh. It's it's a uh, four songs. Uh. And um, then um, I'm right now, I'm about to walk, uh, go into a recording studio when we're done, actually. I'm going to, I'm going to finish recording a, a full length album and have that, um, have hard copies uh, available when it's done on vinyl. Because I love vinyl. So, so yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll send one to you. Um, and, um. Yeah, it'll be distributed, hopefully, you know, through Amoeba and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. digitally. And, you know, I mean, because all these formats are just, uh, they keep changing. So, um, but yeah, I mean, to, to answer your question, I've been recording. So. Now, uh, 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 Punk God is actually called earlier. And I knew you guys weren't talking for a while or something, but it seems like you guys are talking again, which is really great because she is definitely, she, as she said on the air, she said uh, she's the eye candy of the show. So I'm, uh, is she going to be part of future live events? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Goddess Bunny, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, she's she's been work. We've been working together for for many many years. Uh, awesome. And how about Michael? How's Michael? Is he going to be performing with you? Uh oh, Michael. Uh, yeah, I know so many Michaels. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the dance. The yeah, he was the the dancer, right? Uh, but I don't, I don't know. We haven't, we haven't really spoken, so. Uh, but I mean, we're not in bad terms, but uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad Goddess Bunny is back in the fold. Yeah, you guys have to come up to the Bay Area. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we're definitely gonna hit up the Bay Area when we're on the next tour. Definitely. Try to do it. Try to do it around here because I can sneak you guys into the studio when I. Guys, like an interview or something, at least you, you know, I'm gonna get you in here. Oh, yeah, like yeah, definitely. Thank you. Yeah, I'll bring the goddess too, for sure. Please do. I love her. She's awesome. <laughs> I, was so, I was so touched when she called earlier. I was like, Whoa, because we talk on Facebook. I was like, Well, hey, I want to know a little bit about you, the performer, because I know you guys are kind of like you guys are kind of like a band, and I know you guys are kind of like a band, and I know you guys are kind of like a band, and I know you guys are kind of like a band, and I know you guys are kind of like a band, and I know you guys are kind of like a band, and I know you guys are kind of like a band, and I know you guys are kind of like a band,
interesting performer. Again, people, if you want to see more about Punk Bunny, go to YouTube, put in Punk Bunny, or go to punkbunny.com. Mm -hmm. You'll see his video. Tell me a little bit about that. Hmm. <clears throat> About about my music. Uh, no, about, about your about uh, your you know how you got into music. Oh, oh. all right. Well, ooh, ooh, boom. okay. Well, I, mom. <laughs> First, yeah, mom. She's always had music in her house. Um, so that's uh, that's really where the love came from of music. She's had vinyl, like she had tons of vinyl. This is in the seventies. Um, yeah. so I would, uh, play all her vinyl, you know, from ABBA to yes. Blondie to, uh, uh, Flying Lizards, you know, she had obscure, weird vinyl. So anyhow, so that's where it started it's through my mother. Um, she had, um, so anyhow, I would, I found some broken drumsticks, um, in, uh, in some, some alley and then I picked them up and I would always rehearse with them on the couch and thinking I'm, you know, I'm this amazing drummer. Um, yeah, yeah I, I was like nine or 10 years old. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I mean, and then from there, my dad just, uh, he gave me his drum set when I was 14 and, um, sorry, I'm a little nervous <laughs> and, Aww. and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I get nervous. And, uh, Oh God. Uh, so yeah, I mean, from 14 and on, uh, to make a long story short, uh, I've, I've, I've been in bands. I've, I formed bands, um, in high school and, um, uh, just been playing since, since I was 14 from backyard gigs to house parties. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, just everywhere. Uh, any chance. This is all in LA. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I started touring actually like leaving, uh, uh, in 2006, like actually right. touring, touring. Um, yeah, yeah. That's what that. There's a video of you at a, was it a Spanish or French TV show? There's a video of you online. Oh, uh, yeah, that was uh, in Spain. Um, yeah, that was uh, these people. Uh, yeah, I was um, on, on some small label. Um, and uh, yeah, they, they got all the shows and um, they hooked it up. <laughs> so. Now, how did the Punk Bunny, how did the Punk Bunny, uh, concept come about? What year, and how did it come about? The name, the concept, the whole thing? <clears throat> hmm. Well, the name, yeah, Punk Bunny, uh, this was in 2003. Wow, 11 years ago. Um, wow. So, yeah, I was in, uh, in London, um, and I was just, uh, uh, inspired by all these uh, electro acts that was going on at the time in Europe and and the images and just the music and all that I was like fuck I wanna oh sorry I don't know if I can cuss uh, but uh, I was um, just taken aback I'm like wow there's a huge electro scene going on um, and of course Peaches you know I she's just the goddess so you know she uh, I put my drums away and uh, I was just tired of, you know, playing drums and um, lugging them around and setting them up, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to um, do it all electronic and just hit play and just, <laughs> you know, it makes it easier. But I don't have a full band. I have all my instruments, all the drums, everything in my little 1980s Casio keyboard. I have my two girls and me. We can set up in two minutes, just like you with your laptop. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's easier to like, you know, you plug in to the PA, you hit play, set up, and, uh, but that's the way I used to like it. But now I'm taking a different route and I'm going back to the uh, rock and roll, you know, guitars, drums, uh, bass. So uh, right now I'm, I'm working with the full band. Um, oh. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. So I'm kind of leaving the whole, like, I'm still going to do some old Punk Bunny songs on the, on the set list. Yeah, uh, you have you know, uh, but, um, but yeah, I prefer that whole raw, raw, real guitar, drums, yeah. uh, sound, because just time changes all the time. Well, yeah. I remember you were mentioning that at the Store Club gig, you were talking to me about this, like, yeah, but I kind of miss the guitar, bass, and drums, I was like, 
I, I personally, I, I like what you're doing now, um, but you know, it's all about what you want to do because it's your app. And it's who you are. I just, I just thought it was such a pure, brilliant rock and roll show, and I don't mean that in a pretentious way. <laughs> no, no. Thank you, Rob. Uh, yeah, I mean, um. Yeah, so yeah, it's just uh, I've always just liked the raw. Yeah, it's just it's just basic rock and roll. That's really what I I'm focused on right now, uh, as as opposed to dance music. Uh, How about videos? You have a lot of videos online, and I love them because they're they're raw, they're homemade, and you know nowadays we can do that. That's the great thing of nowadays is that you know. Well, yeah, you didn't have to wait till MTV would put a music video out for you. you just yeah. go, just go ahead and. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do a video pro shop in there and cut it all up or go to you know Flickr and well, that's the posters that's so, yeah with yeah, all the so mm -hmm. sorry what's that you have any videos coming up uh y yeah I'm uh, still I'm gonna record uh, I'm still in the process of recording and then exactly. with one of the songs that I choose I'm gonna choose uh, uh, you know uh, yeah yeah to answer your question yeah I'm gonna work on a, a, a new video uh this year yes yes i want to be in i said this in the snow club i want to be in one of your videos i know it's hard because we're six hours apart you're down in la i'm up here in san francisco but one day i firmly i really want to be in one of your videos i just i just it's a dream of mine and i know one day if it's meant to be it will happen but yeah see you film some stuff with me and then add it in or something i don't know we'll go yeah well we'll go down in frisco and shoot a video there <laughs> So, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. You know, YouTube, YouTube now has this amazing, uh, again, everything's, you know, people see the posters I make and flyers like, what, do you have an expensive program? I'm like, no, I do it for free on Flickr. And now I have a video series, Bob's Video Cafeteria. And it's like, where do you do this at? It's like, dude, on YouTube, it's free. They have this amazing video. Uh, oh, right, video editor, right. Yeah, see, that's the good thing about all these software programs uh, that you can um, edit stuff. On your own, you don't need this big major corporation to to do this for you, and, and it's just getting easier and easier with all these uh, software uh, programs. Where yeah, you can, sh you know, it is all it's DIY. You're, you're, you're definitely a guy that really takes advantage of that, like with all the videos you make and all that stuff. That's why I really like it because it's raw. It's raw videos, but who cares? That's what it should be. That's what that's what, what we're not. Yeah. Are. Well, no, you're right. You're right. I mean, well, who else is going to do it? I mean, yeah, you've got to do it yourself. And God knows I've been doing this since 87, to be honest with you. I mean, it's all, you just got to just do it yourself. I mean, you can't wait till you're going to get signed because it's, forget it. It's just not going to happen. You need, no, you, you need to form your own and create your own, whatever it is you want to do out there. So. You talking to me? Oh. Hey, I heard the whistle. I didn't know if that was you or my side. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's definitely what they would do. So, probably, that maybe something would happen with you. It's like, oh, they'll just find somebody and have a, a G-rated version of you. Um, where is the... Where is the uh, <clears throat> I was, was going to ask you a question about... Um, your, the, one of my favorite videos is the one of you in the hot tub. I love that one. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, the jacuzzi, right, right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that was shot in San Diego. Yeah, that, yeah, that that one gets uh, some some hits. Uh, uh, yeah, that was fun. That was last minute because we shot "Hunting for Your Love," uh, an actual another video. Actually, I took that down. Um, I should put it back up. <laughs> but that same day, we shot "Hunting for Your Love" and "Straight Up." That's the title of that jacuzzi. So we shot it, and uh, the the director, uh, Salvatore, he he said, "Let's shoot another video." And I was so tired. I was like, "You know what? I'm I'm exhausted. I just want to go home." Because I was, we were in San Diego, 
I'm like, I just, we have a two hour drive all the way to LA. Yeah, right. So anyhow, uh, yeah. So I'm like, all right, all right. I'm like to hell with this. Uh, we, we, we went ahead, did some choreography in the jacuzzi and I thought it was the funniest thing. <laughs> so. Just amazing. That's, I actually, my, uh, my guest in the studio, Karen, I showed her the video and she's like, oh my God, that's awesome. It's, it's called Straight Up. It's so bad. It's bad. It's good. It's so bad. Oh, I mean, well, the all the videos are bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're all bad. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But this one is like, it's so bad. I mean, well, all the videos are just, I mean, they're all bad done. They're bad. They're done bad intentionally. Yes. Uh, exactly. But it's, but there is some honesty to it though. And there's, some, <laughs> there's a lot of integrity. But if you want to go to YouTube, put in Punk Funk Straight Up, you'll know it's him girl, another guy in a jacuzzi, and it's amazing choreography, and it's a great <laughs> song, and again, it's not G-rated, so just keep in mind, Punk Bunny is, uh, I would say, uh, uh, R-rated, borderline, sometimes X, no, I don't say X-rated, no, I'll say borderline, I'll say yeah, R-rated. It's just borderline. bathroom humor, I mean, the lyrics, and yeah. it's just bathroom humor, it's it's just exactly. nothing to be taken. You don't take yourself seriously, I mean, you do with your art, but you don't come across like, you know, like, same thing with the Clarence, it's like, we do take it seriously, we're proud of what we do, we're going to give you a good show. Yeah. We're not, like, take, like, you, you know, taking ourselves so seriously. Like, we're so wonderful. <laughs> well, that's, I think that's what punk is all about. Punk is not just a, a, a style, I think it's, you know, it's an attitude, and and that's just what it is, you know, you just don't give a, you know, beep, so, uh, yeah, and that's what it is, I mean, I, I think that's what punk is, so. Absolutely, yeah. you definitely, I just wish we had the same uh, 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 business account. Uh, yeah. So, bank account. Yeah. Bank account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That would be really sweet. But, you know, the underground is where, to me, I love the underground because that's where you find the most interesting people and characters. Yeah. And I've always liked indie bands. That's why I, I, I support any, any indie band. Even if they hate my ass, I don't care. I still support them. Um... Because yeah, it's it's yeah, I, I like it in the cult cult acts. Yeah. yeah. You're definitely up there. So yeah. <clears throat> uh, wrapping up here, we got a couple minutes here. Why don't we uh, tell tell the audience again where we can find you and uh, on the web again yeah. and uh, just anything you want to say and say any shout outs, anything you want to do. The microphone is yours, my friend. Oh well, well thank you. Uh well, no, no, I mean, just basically go to, I mean, I still, a lot of people don't have websites, but uh, yeah, just uh, well, as far as bands, because they just have Facebook, but yeah, you can go to uh, punkbunny.com, or YouTube, type in Punk Bunny, um, and, and of course, Facebook, Face Crack, uh, type in Punk Bunny, and I have a band page there, and you can uh, send messages, I answer to, I answer uh, to every, every, every message. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really me handling it. So, um, personally, I do. Well, I can't wait to, uh, the, the, I can't wait to hear the EP, and I can't wait to hear the record, and I can't wait to see you perform again. I would love for the Clarence and the Punk Bunny to do a show. I think that needs to happen. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. So, uh, we'll, talk, we'll, talk, we'll talk on Facebook about it and stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll get it together. We'll figure it out. Yeah, no, no, no. Thank you for your, your invitation. Oh, thanks. Uh, thank you. Thanks for being an artist, and I, you know, I just, I, I just think you really, man, you just, you have that one of the greatest rock and roll shows I ever saw. It was just so pure, and the other thing I love is that people were just so turned off by it, and then all of a sudden they started, <laughs> me and Leslie, me and Leslie were dancing away, and all these people kind of walked away, and then later on they all started coming in like, what is that? Like, what is this train wreck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch these videos if you can do 
to that folks, just watch one of his videos and like, like his Facebook page and tell him Bob's Radio Cafeteria sent him and he'll dislike that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't think about this. Oof. Oh my god, you're not doing this. Ah, let's see. Oh. In the A's? Yeah, starting with the letter A. Okay, how about. Uh, hold on. Uh, I know, I'm really sorry. You know what? Uh, uh, how about some. Uh, um, uh, Ace of Base. I don't have that in the jukebox. Oh, you fucker. All right. How about, uh, A, uh, ABC? I don't have that in the jukebox. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you have ABBA? <laughs> yes, I have ABBA. I have all their records. Okay. How about, uh, um, uh, Happy New Year? Thank you. Thank, you. thank you so much. Goodbye. There he is, the one and only. The one and only. Yay! Oh, wait, it is. <laughs>